and gave him four or five life sentences. Why did you do that? You were afraid. Harry Hoover changed the aim of the so-called gangster disciples to growth and development and began to guide them into absolutely uh, good things. You arrested him in prison and gave him four or five life sentences. Why did you do that? You were afraid. Chief Malik Angel Bay. If y'all don't know who he is, he's the, the chief of the Peace Stone Nation, and I'm gonna fight for him the same way I'm gonna fight for Larry and Malachi. If y'all don't know who is supposed to get the work done, you can't say that the person doing the work is not the one who's supposed to be doing it only by the sheer fact that the work is being performed. It's all being done according to the oral tribal traditions of reclaiming the land using what's called the redemption process. We was invaded. We was waged war against. We fought back. We fought to a different phase of warfare. War don't always stay bullets and bloodshed. So Sometimes it end up in backwoods ceremonies around the open fire at 3 a.m. in order to call forth the spiritual forces of the ancestors to align certain energies to help you and win the war. You can't win no motherfucking war if you don't know strategy. 
because you're going to always be fighting each other. Look, more of these so-called Negroes, these motherfuckers that look like us, is coming in opposition to me saying free Malachi with the paperwork and pale face is pushing the motherfucking liberation of Malachi and supporting me in my inbox. And they want me to not like pale face and it's niggas that's doing nigga ass shit trying to interfere with the process. Everybody didn't had time, sufficient time. Malachi been locked up 20 something years. Why y'all not following the oral tradition of the tribes by putting his release documents into the public domain? Apparently, it's above somebody's pay grade because they don't have access to the information. The door not open to the motherfucker who haven't worked his way up to the platform. Now, you seeing the receipts receiving. The math is mathing. And you got niggas that look like us, these goddamn black devils, that's throwing monkey wrenches in the program. And they haven't done nothing in the entire time Malachi been locked up to get him out. Don't argue with Rod Hayes. Argue with these motherfucking receipts. Many call. Few are chosen. The few chosen ones is literally only a few. If they don't know what I'm doing or they don't like what I'm doing, I got a spoiler for them. You can't stop what's coming. Everybody think that we trying to take over somebody else's shit. This our shit. We not trying to take over. We already had a blueprint to reclaim what was rightfully ours if we follow the steps the ancestors laid. Apparently, the ones as naysayers and haters of Rye Hayes have no fucking clue what their ancestors said. I got some bitch from Mississippi with a beard talking down on the empress and talking down on me and she ain't produced nothing. She ain't produced nothing. Can't no motherfucker that's non-productive interfere with the productive. I had people reach out from Australia, New Zealand, um, from the Tongan Islands, from the Hawaiian Islands. All these people is saying, we appreciate you producing the, the, um, the queen mother, the widow, for the world to see the matriarch is reclaiming her rightful place among the tribes and nations of the earth. See, y'all think because people with gratitude ask for my cash app that that mean I'm in this shit for some money. All you motherfuckers that don't really know, I don't do this for money. The knowledge I give away for free, you motherfuckers won't even come get because y'all too busy trying to tear somebody down rather than build your own self up. So if you can't build yourself up, you not qualified to tear me down. You not qualified to tear me down. You do not have the necessary equipment. I can't do nothing about Instagram hating on me. So we have a natural order. It's not GMO, it's not plastic or synthetic, right? It's an organic, natural method to reclaim the land at the close of every age. That's one of the original contracts of the earth realm that can never be overturned. If you think I don't know what I'm talking about, that's cool. If you think I don't know what I'm talking about, that's cool. But what you doing? When you tear somebody else down, you got to have a body of work that surpasses what they doing to a degree that your credibility is higher than the person that's delivering the receipts. You in your own way, you not in mine because I'm going to run your motherfucking ass over. If y'all don't know who to look for, you probably shouldn't speak. If you don't got nothing good to say, shut the fuck up. Me. Being me, I'm not going to tear nobody down to bring myself up because it's not necessary. I am who I am. I'm the master of masters, the self-raised master whom the lodges call Hiram Abiff. I'm the son of the great mother. I'm the son of the great mother.
parthogenic son of the great mother, incarnate on earth to always return the earth back to balance. The only way to uplift fallen humanity is to restore the matriarchy. This don't have nothing to do with no superpowers. I don't got no cape. I ain't bulletproof. None of that shit. I ain't bulletproof. None of that shit. But I got something that most motherfuckers don't have. I got the blood and the right with the truth. Don't have nothing to do with I know more than you. I don't care if I don't know more than you. It's a whole lot of people know more than me. They might not know how to put it together like I do. But it's a whole lot of people that know more than me. They might not know how to put it together like I do. This is don't have nothing to do with me having a big head or me tearing nobody down. I didn't never attack nobody. Everybody you see me go at their head, everybody came at me first. If I don't know you, I'm not speaking on you. I don't know nothing about you to be speaking on you. And I don't want nobody else telling me your business. So if you want the celebrities to push an agenda for your liberation, you automatically asking the wrong people. If you want the politicians who's also running a stage show, who also don't got nothing to do with the organic people of the land, they just masquerading under the uniform commercial code, wearing their uniforms to make them look legitimate. What's legitimate is these motherfucking Feather wearing motherfuckers is powwowing with their mamas wearing sundresses on the porch drinking lemonade while she looking over the children playing in the front yard. That's our shit. That's our shit. You can't get back to Big Mama house and don't want to hear what Big Mama talking about. And don't expect none of her, none of her sons, your uncles, to get up, beat your ass, put you back in your place, and Big Mama gonna come herself and clean your motherfucking face up, wipe the blood off your nose, and say, now you go in there and sit your ass at the table and get your plate. And the next time you come to my house, you gonna have some manners. Spare the rice, spoil the child. She got these big ass uncles. She got one for every problem. I'm just a clean up man. My job is to just patch everything together and get Big Mama house clean so when she get home, she ain't got to wash the dishes. She don't got to make no beds up. All that shit done. My whole Instagram page, my whole Facebook page, my last two Instagram pages are all full of receipts. So they sit there, they ain't did shit, in the whole 20-something years Malachi been locked up, soon as I do sit, I'm a fraud using Malachi name. But when I wasn't saying Malachi name because I was talking about Larry Hoover, it was, oh, he got the free Malachi. Malachi the only one. Malachi not the only fucking chief in um that's being held back. This is why most people drop the fucking ball because they only want to liberate their own chief, which all of the liberation of the chiefs is intricately woven together in the redemption process where if you don't follow it, According to the way it's laid out, you're not getting nobody out of nothing. Malachi Ben told him that it was going to be a woman that would get him out of prison. It wasn't going to be no motherfucking musty testicle having ass nigga because they're too egocentric. It's only the mothers that understand the love of the mother for the child that'll fight for her child generation after generation and lifetime after lifetime. And all mama's boys been raised in past in the rites of passage caused the lodge need to pay attention all of us are responsible to be our brother's keeper because mama said don't never let nobody take nothing from your brothers and your sisters my sister's shit was held in abeyance and my brothers was bumping into each other the brothers was bumping into each other because it was the blind leading a fucking blind. I'm glad you get offended and I'm glad you lash out at me so we know where you black devils at. Half of the ones doing it don't even know they the goddamn devil until the motherfucking hammer drop on their ass. We see you too, black devils. We see you too, black devils. See, all the time y'all want us to think the dirt being done by a pale face and there's some niggas pulling the string. I don't care about biblical doctrine. 
I don't care about Quranic doctrine. I don't that shit before 1492, there's nobody from the Americas who owned the Bible. And all that shit is a control scheme. It is a kind artist's rendition of a spiritual rights so that they can make you forego who you is in order to accept who they told you to be. You can't tell me who to be. I'm too goddamn hard-headed. I'm too goddamn stubborn. The Chiefs are always stubborn and hard-headed like that. How the fuck you gonna hold your position and you ain't stubborn and hard-headed? BOS 215-19, 7 4 Hoover on your ass, Georgetown, Hoyas, coming at you, right? Them blue devils. I ain't hard to find, but keep popping up under my uh, my message, my, my post. Keep calling me a fraud. Enjoy yourself and have fun while you doing your black devil, uh, uh, devil shit, right? While you doing all of that shit under the pretense of being the righteous, I'm going to keep doing what the fuck I'm doing. I'm going to keep teaching the people the goddamn truth. We ain't come on no slave ships. We Mississippi red clay dirt walking. We second line marching feather wearing motherfuckers. We have powwows. Them motherfuckers have something else. If y'all know what this is, I don't, I'm not mad at you. Just don't say no negative shit. Don't get in the way. Just do your due diligence to find out what I'm talking about. If you don't know that 13 is the queen mother seat, and if you don't know that the queen mother is the mother of the king, you got to figure out a way to get these hard head motherfuckers to rally around the great mother once again. When they came, they called us insects. All those in the culture know what a honeypot is, but the outsiders ain't got no fucking clue said that we were ants and called our mother's sisters ants as a way to say that we behave like ants the way we rally around the queen and the queen mother is the center of the zodiac as above so below if you don't know who the, who Tawa Red is if you don't know about the temple of Dendara then there's nothing that you can tell me because you don't even know your own shit enough to tell me that I'm wrong if I was wrong I'm telling you what's right. I'm standing in the blood inherited position of righteousness, being a rightful heir. Because of that, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Because of that, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. We are on a move. Ain't no stopping us now, Baba Song. Ain't no stopping us now, Baba Song. We on a move. Now that y'all see us on the move, you got a bunch of people that's moving around, but they not going nowhere. Blind, aimless moves. The blind can't tell you what the path look like because they can't see it. I'm offering up a solution and then these motherfuckers is trying to tear me down. Y'all shooting at a juggernaut. Your little puny ass rubber bullets is not gonna do nothing to interfere with my progress but it's going to interfere with yours. We see you too, Black Devils. Yeah, that's good. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's a, a taste like lemonade. Take me out the equation. Some nigga going to come along and say, God ain't no man, God is a woman. The next thing they're going to say is, not only is God a woman, the earth is supposed to be in the custody of the women. Ain't none of these motherfuckers telling us how to get free. The only motherfucker that gave a comprehensive pl uh, plan to rebuild the clans and actually done it is Elijah Muhammad and Malachi York. Nope, it's Elijah Muhammad and Malachi York. Nobody else started from scratch, built a whole tribal nation in the midst of the enemy. We was going to have to be bold and brazen enough to set our plates in the presence of our own enemies without regard for them. How in the fuck is the meat gonna inherit the earth if all of the motherfucking men is lost? One of them motherfuckers gotta make sure that these sisters get their shit back. See, now Farrakhan came out 
and told me to sit my ass down because I was a fraud, then I would probably consider that. See, everybody be wanting to talk about, well, if Fair come for, the, for us, why he ain't dead? Y'all ain't never heard of the FOI? Y'all don't know how these motherfuckers is the top security in the world. The Secret Service. Now watch them niggas. Watch them motherfucking Secret Service bow ties from neckties turn into bow ties. How in the fuck is that possible? Does somebody got to be taking some shit over? So I'm going to tell you like this. If I'm not doing what's necessary, Farrakhan doing it. Farrakhan doing it. Now, how about that? The only other motherfucker that's doing anything that can benefit us as a people without the aid and resources of the enemy. The nation of Islam has built itself up to be a beacon in every one of our neighborhoods is some fruits there. They the only ones on the whole land that's in every fucking community and made alliances with every motherfucking so-called gang, which is actually a tribe that was renamed by the government in order to um, disparage the leadership and the people to the people. You want to follow the story your enemy gave you and think your enemy going to tell you how to get free. All the time, the ones of us that's really telling you how to get free, you want to push them to embrace your enemy. You want us to go fucking vote in, in an election that don't got nothing to do with the tribes. We outlaw tribes. We don't got no motherfucking trees with these bitches. That's why we running them the fuck off the land and reclaiming our shit according to the process that our elders laid out for us. For some of y'all, y'all don't know what it looked like. I'm trying to show y'all, but you got these other motherfuckers that come along and want to try to undermine the process. It's not going to work. You can't stop what's coming. Big Mama didn't been revealed. Big Mama didn't been revealed. If you know what you're doing, keep doing it. If you don't know what you're doing, be still. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's fine. If you don't think I'm doing what you want me to do, that's your problem. But if you know that I'm doing what our ancestors told us to do, you supposed to be doing the same shit I'm doing from the direction of your perception. You can't disparage Chief Pontiac, certified war chief out of Wild Nation, inherited by an old Mississippian who walked the land in the place of Chief Pontiac. You can't do that. Rashad Jamal was set up for, for a trade-off. He was set up for a trade-off for a music career to undermine his divine energy and his divine insight. Somebody wanted to replace his ascending music career, so they sacrificed his ass and made this shit up. And the ring leader of that shit was Isis Wisdom. That's why she slid up under him and made him cut off everybody that could give him the spiritual support that to pull the veil off that bullshit and let them see it for what it is. A Remedy H, I don't know him, I don't know him. I don't listen to him, I don't know nothing about him. I seen him one time, I wonder if somebody sent me a video. He not staying here, he'll tell you that. When the ships come, wherever the fuck they coming from, he going to be on one. I'm not going to be on. I'm earthborn. I'm from here. He going to be on one. I'm not going to be on. I'm earthborn. I'm from here. And since I'm from here, I'm going to tell y'all, Remedy H had enough spiritual power to give the spiritual support to Rashad Jamal to block the shit Isis Wisdom was doing. So she made him turn on him too. Then you would need to overcharge people, talk about you got a select clientele, giving motherfucking $40 Yoni things for $1,400 because your name is Isis Wisdom. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Look, anything Isis Wisdom say, she, she stole it. He's an international knowledge thief. She a whole fraud. And I said it, I meant it. And she's so much of a fraud and so much of a detriment to our people that if I seen her in person, I can't guarantee that this right not going to fly up in her mouth. Because I refuse to bow down to some motherfuckers that's inferior to me in all respects. I came to get my sisters a shit and then I won't mind.
It's not the people that y'all want ain't capable of bringing you what you want because y'all didn't properly support them when they was giving it to you. Now that I come along, y'all think that the people that I go on their show got a podcast channel making millions of dollars off my little video. It's not happening, Captain. It's not happening. This shit don't pay like you think. And y'all motherfuckers talking about a motherfucker is doing this shit for money. That's not no money. Look, $3,000, I can't even buy all my god kids a birthday present that costs a dollar. This, our people don't pay for freedom. We don't pay for motherfuckers fighting for us. We pay for motherfuckers coming to steal for us. We gladly give money up for all that shit. But we ain't gonna give a motherfucker a dime that's coming to get us our free, that's coming to fight for us. We not gonna support him. If that nigga stand up for us, we gonna leave him standing by himself. And that's why niggas can't get nowhere. Malcolm didn't have no money his whole tenure. From the time he got out of prison to the time he departed the physical form, Malcolm didn't have no money. And motherfuckers still don't respect the fact that you can't get nothing done in the white man's world without finance. And it said best by the more to take finance to uplift the nation. Take finance to uplift the nation. But y'all think because a motherfucker doing like this shit is it's prepaid. So if you're trying to send me money for a consultation, you might be pushed to the bottom of the list to the ones who know how to call on their own and don't worry about you can give me a donation, I don't mind that, but I'm not finna charge you for shit. I don't charge for the knowledge I give away. Young girl, don't charge for the uh, for the editing and the knowledge and the organizing that he gotta do behind the scenes while he taking care of his whole fucking family. He ain't making no motherfucking money off this shit. Anybody that think that is a real naive, brain dead, novocaine brain ass motherfucker. When they say self-raised master, they mean a motherfucker that taught himself everything. I had to teach myself how to read before I could even get started.